Hey boys and girls, Pastor Kevin here with our new episode of Blast Bites. We are so glad you could join us today. And today we're going to be talking about nothing other than a good old regular box. Alright, now this says ho 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 on it. It's not Christmas time. I don't have a gift for you. But I do have a box to show us that how sometimes what we do with the box is we, well obviously we put stuff in it, right? So we can store things in it. We can put toys in it. And maybe you had to move from one house to another, and when you move, we use boxes to move. You put toys in it, and you write toys on it to make sure that everybody knows that this is my stuff, okay? Or you may put, you know, bathroom stuff in it, clothes, uh, all kinds of things, but boxes are used for storage and all kinds of things, okay? But today, we're gonna talk about how sometimes we put God in a box. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, Pastor Kevin, God's really big. How in the world can we put God in a box? Well, let me show you how. Because what we do is that we know that God is big and He can help us, but sometimes we doubt. And sometimes we think, you know what? We pray, pray, uh, we pray prayers that are really, really big. And in our heart, sometimes we think that, well... I don't think God can really do that. And so that is putting God in a box. We take something that is really, really big like God, and we say, God, we know you're God, and we know you're big, but I don't think you can do that. And so well, when you do that, we're putting God in a box and saying, well, God, you can only do this much. I believe in you. I trust you. But really, in my heart, I think you can only do limited stuff. That's not who God is, and that's not what God should be to us. God is super big, and He is God of the impossible. If you think it's impossible, God can do it if we believe and if we pray. So, boys and girls, we don't want to put God in the box. So maybe you have some prayers. Maybe you pray for a friend to receive Jesus, and you're thinking, man... Pastor Kevin, this friend is so bad, I don't think he could ever see Jesus or meet Jesus. You may have a family member that is just really, really, they, they don't live their life right. And you think, man, Pastor Kevin, I don't think God could ever save that person. You put God in a box. You see, God can do everything. He can do the impossible. He can do big, big prayers. And you know what? Even myself... I've done this before. Boys and girls, you know, like, I have a hearing loss. And, um, you know, sometimes I can't hear very well. You know what? Sometimes I don't believe God can heal my ears. And I believe it. I can say I believe it. But sometimes I, I doubt. And that's not always a bad thing. You know what? Sometimes we have some challenges in our, in, in our life that seem kind of big. But I even had to catch myself that I don't put God in a box. Okay? I had to believe myself that God can answer great, great, big prayers. And He can answer great, big prayers for you. So we don't want to put God in a box. We have to believe that and know that God is so, so big big and that he wants to answer not only your small prayers but he wants to answer your big prayers dreams you have for when you grow up things you want to do things you want to see people in your life he can do all of that if we just allow him to be as big as we know he can be the bible says in first corinthians um Chapter 2, verse 9, it says this, No eye has seen, no ear has heard, and no mind has imagined what God has prepared for those who love Him. Boys and girls, He's prepared awesome stuff for us. And our minds can't fathom what He can do. He is the God of the impossible. So pray those big prayers. Dream those big dreams. But don't put God in a box. Don't limit Him to what He can do. Because He can do everything our mind could ever imagine. Boys and girls, we love you. We're praying for you. And remember to keep a smile on your face a song in your heart, and a pep in your step, and we'll see you next time.